guys, we have our October boxy charm to unbox. Forgive me if I'm not super energetic, but um, I worked. I'm very tired. <laughs> I worked today. <laughs> I worked. I worked today. <laughs> That's my excuse. All right, here you go. Work in the medical field. Tell me how excited you are. This should make you. Ooh, actually. I know you love eyelid lashes. I really do. So, this is the. Uh, now, now, I, I but I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right. Oh, it's a nice case. Kamora An Onik Beauty, and it's called the Mary Lash. Like I'm a Mary and Pippin? No, like Mary had a little lash. Uh-huh. All right, this is the most natural lash in the collection, and it's perfect for the woman who wants to keep it real, like you. <laughs> is that me? With her beauty. It's a soft and light whisper lash that looks perfect on all eye shapes. Even your weird ass shaped eyes. <laughs> There's nothing about this person that says I want to keep it natural with my fake hair color and my drawn on eyebrows and my many body modifications. <laughs> but you know me. <laughs> Love nature and keeping it natural with all the natural things I encompass. <laughs> oh, this one's wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh, We're going to save that one for last. Here. Here's a, bo here's a box hey, for you thanks. to open. I didn't even look at it first. What's it called? I don't know. C. That was my phone. I'll put my phone over here. <sighs> what so is this? unprofessional. What is it? I don't know. A hunter destroyer machine. Does anyone get that joke? Let me know. This is from Tarte. Ooh, I like Tarte. This is the Tarte Wink of H2O Vegan Collagen Eye Cream. Like an espresso shot for under your eyes. That sounds A painful. vegan, skin-loving eye cream that reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles for a refreshed, youthful look. The weightless, water-based formula gives a lifted effect and is clinically proven to deliver 24 hours of hydration. It helps firm and fight signs of aging with HydroFlex technology and create a crease-resistant base. Do not place nose close to container and smell. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. It's the first thing you do with you smell everything. You have to smell everything. So this this is actually pretty intriguing if it's gonna help with creasing under makeup. How much is this, by the way? Because I'd like uh, to know how much. Thirty five dollars. That's a lot for such a little. I, I hope they. Don't I, mean I hope that. it that doesn't sucks. work. I hope it doesn't work as well as it said. I have cat hair all over my face. Yeah, well, was, well you had a cat literally all over your face. I love my cat. This is the Appeal Cosmetics Adhesive Liquid Liner. This is the newest and most innovative way to apply your fake lashes. What? Step aside. Tubes of glue. This ultra-fine liner is easy to apply and a hot way to spice up an eye look. So, wait. I wonder... Is it going to dry down completely not sticky? Because if you do a wing with this... Oh, there's instructions. Or no, it's just blank. Faked me out. <laughs> if you do a wing with this and it's just sticky the whole time, wouldn't your eyes just be stuck open? I mean, there's only one way to find out. That's true. Here, go put one of the lashes on your hand. No, I don't want to waste them. You should, you should put the lash... You should put the liner here and put the lashes on and be like... Hello. <laughs> I like I like the the eyeliner application, the felt tip. It's very nice. I can't really. It seems like it's pigmented. It's very dark. I like that. I like my sense of humor. What is that? This is the Tint Beauty Lash and Brow Duo. This duo solves the endless search for mascara and brow gel in the abyss of your makeup bag. That is an abyss. It combines two products in one. The mascara is created with a smooth oil-rich formula with strong color payoff, leaving lashes longer, naturally fuller looking, and thicker, like me, without clumps. Also like me. <laughs> the brow gel is fine and creamy with enough color to achieve natural hairless strokes of color for fuller and well-defined brows. I understand none of this. Again, my concern is like, if you don't have eyebrows to begin with, how am I going to use this? Because I've got like four eyebrow hairs. 
There's the color. Well, I mean, you used to only have three, so things are I'm moving better. up in the world. Yeah. Is this a nice component? I just wish there was more product in it because I feel like you get less of each product. Yeah. All right, last and certainly least. Certainly least. What? There's a cat behind us making a weird noise. He's purring, probably. La palette. Ooh, that's cute. And we got another palette. I can't tell if that's right side up. Is that is. right side up? Ace Butte. Falling for your palette. Uh -huh, I'm sorry, falling for you palette. The falling for you palette represents some of the most favorite things about the fall season. Oh my god, it's pumpkin spice. Ooh. Yeah, it is. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. That's cute. It's a new launch. I don't know how I feel about those chunky glitters in there. Let me see this here. Oh, like candy corn color. Is it called candy corn? Yeah. So they're called apple, squash, pumpkin pie, autumn, pine cone, cherry pie, spice, cranberry, chestnut, persimmon. Persimmon? Persimmon. I never pronounce that word right. <laughs> persimmon. Cider and candy corn. Aha, I got you. Here, let's put some on the cat. No, don't put it on him. Don't put it on him. Ooh. Don't, don't, no. His little poopy paws. Look. <laughs> That's cute. That's a pretty shade. Um, You're such a good sport. He is. Uh, so, yeah. There you go. That's it. We're out of stuff in the box. That's a decent box. I'm excited about that eyeliner lash adhesive. I'm very excited about that eye product. I I'm really so want to use those lashes. I don't know how I feel about the mascara brow duo. The palette, it's pretty. It's definitely pretty, but I feel like I have all of those colors in other palettes, so I'm not thing. like super excited about it. Maybe but I'll try it. Okay. Maybe that's one you take somewhere. Like, we'll travel. I don't go anywhere. We're going to go to the wedding in like two two weeks. That's true. My One of my sisters is getting married in two weeks. Hello. I don't know what the makeup is supposed to be like for that, though. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try these out. Wow, that liner does not move. Is it fading, though? Oh, just kidding. If you rub on it really hard, it's going to smear. But you like, shouldn't rub on your eye that no, hard. No, no one should rub on their eye that hard. I'm really interested to see how that works. I'm so excited to play with that. Um, I think I might at least do a try on for the eyelashes probably not tonight because i'm very tired i'm over today i'm over it it's a monday and i'm over it it's just another manic monday it's something i wish it were sunday so it's i'll be sunday. back in a little bit maybe i should try the mascara too while i'm at it she's gonna try some stuff i'll try some stuff and i'll I'm see you in a second bye bye all right so this is like a really eye heavy boxy charm that we got which is great because i'm not really trying to put any face makeup on per se i had my botox appointment with neurology this morning so please ignore any tiny little dots you see and also know that it's helping massively with my migraines i'm going to try out this eye cream first i have a wonderful tiny little pointy faced assistant behind me and hopefully he doesn't start doing anything lewd while I'm trying to film this because I probably won't notice. Totally putting this on with the wrong finger that I usually... I usually go for ring finger because it's less pressure, but here we are. We're having a day. We were a little traumatized this morning, so it's fine. I don't, like, want to rub it in. I don't know how long this is actually going to take to sink in. But it does feel very, very hydrating. Pretty excited about that. Obviously, there's not going to be, like, anything groundbreaking happening right now. Or probably even within the first few days because eye creams take a little bit to work. But I am really interested to see if this helps with any creasing from, like, concealer underneath. That would be cool. So I'm going to let that sink in a little bit and I'm going to prime my eyes. Oh my god, look at him. 
He's so cute. Look at that child. I love him. All right, I'll be back. All right, we are primed and ready to go. I'm thinking I'm going to do... Like, the colors are really not translating that well on camera. They're so pretty in person. This really vibrant red-orange with this orange. Maybe I'll include some swatches in here, too, just to... Maybe, like, on skin they'll show up a little bit more vivid. But I think it's it's just, like... The camera versus in real life, you just don't get the same effect at all. So, with a little packing brush. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pigmented. It looks like it's applying really evenly, which is great. I'm not going to be doing like a crazy look. I have off today. It's almost like 4 o'clock, I think. I'm not going anywhere. So I'll just maybe do like a little fall inspired eye and uh, watch Goosebumps or something. I watched Night of the Demons earlier to get into the halloween -y spirit as if I'm not in that spirit all year round. But I like to watch specific Halloween based movies around Halloween. It's just, I don't know, makes me feel festive, I suppose. There's a little fallout, but I don't care. They're pigmented. That's what's going to happen. I think it has to do, too, with how hard or soft they're pressed. There's some kind of magic behind that. But as long as it works, I don't care. I'm going to blend that eye out with a tiny little blending brush. I think it's from Morphe with that orange. Figure just get, like, one eye done on camera and then I'll finish it up so we can move on to that um, liner lash adhesive that I'm super excited about. This blends nicely. This does blend really nicely. I really like these colors. I know I talked a little shit initially because I feel like I do have these in duplicate in many other palettes but this formula is something else. I really like it. I am not dipping into any of those shimmers because I don't feel like messing up these eyelashes that I got in the boxy as well because I might want to use those for my sister's wedding that's coming up in... It's very soon, actually. It's on the 6th. I need to get my life together. Very excited for her. Very excited to see everyone. And I love seeing my sisters dressed up. I think the last time I saw them all gussied up was probably my wedding. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is really pretty. I'm going to blend it out and do a nicer job. It's just, it would be too much just to sit here and mess with it. And then I probably would stop talking and it would be awkward for all of us. So I'll see you in just one second. All right, so... Blended everything out. I really like it. I really like the formula. I wish I wouldn't have put that eye cream on first because I did kind of have to... Sir, could you not? Hey. Hey. People can see you. Damn it. Okay, so... I powdered my under eyes. I put a little concealer under there. This is going to throw me off a little bit because I do want to try the mascara as well. So, like, putting mascara on before putting eyeliner on is going to be... I don't know if I want to do... That's... See, now I'm thinking this might be a downfall with the eyeliner because that's going to be messy. But, I mean, I might as well try it now, I guess. Just see how it goes. Because I was really banking on getting a lot of use out of that. So, like, you, why would you wear lashes without mascara so and like what's the point of putting mascara on fake lashes I had a brain fart but here we go here's the mascara if you judge how weird my face looks when I put mascara on your mom's a hoe so be nice I guess this is an okay formula I do like the brush so it's not super big getting some nice separation it's pretty 
Not as much volume, but like honestly, if I'm going to use that eyeliner second, that might be a good thing. It's pretty. I think the appeal to this is definitely that it's like a two product in one, but when you don't really have a lot of eyebrows to work with, like I, I can use any like eyebrow mascara, pomade, any kind, anything like that. And it's not really going to be like a big difference between formulations because I've got nothing to work with. So I am not that picky. It builds up nicely. I don't see any clumping. I am a fan, but like I said, probably not my first go-to with this. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. I can't remember the name of the one I'm using right now. I'll, I'll dig it out and I'll find it. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and then be back. All right, so the mascara that I have been using, I can't tell if I'm holding this upside down or not. I totally am. It's the Bambi Eyes Mascara. I think it's Maybelline. I can't remember. I used just a little bit of this wine color here under my lash line on, oh, that's blinding, under the lash line on the bottom. And then I used some of this in my inner corner just to try some other stuff from that palette. I did use the brow stuff on my brows and I feel like it took up a lot of the product that I had on there. It's kind of like a waxier eyebrow pencil. So this stuff like it feels like it has a lot of hold but like also like took a lot of my eyebrow off which whatever. I used the mascara on my lower lashes and like this wand oh, with, without that little doodly on the end is amazing for lower lashes. It's literally the perfect size. It's what I always look for. I really like that. So on to the liner adhesive. I just, I'm having some thoughts. I think this is going to go really badly, but I'm going to try. I have the lashes ready. I think maybe doing one eye at a time is the best move. We'll see. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be shaking this, so. Here we go. Tilt my mirror a little bit. I'm like holding my breath the entire time. This is not usually this hard. And then you're supposed to wait for it to get tacky, but like, I'm not trying to touch this. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit here awkwardly for a few seconds and wait. Just get my eyelash tool ready. That is not a straight line. That's fine. Because my hope is that this will cover it up. I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be tacky. I'm just, I'm, I have no chill. I think, I think it's on. 
It's hard to tell where the lash band is and where the freaking eyeliner is. It's on. Is it a little wonky? Yeah. I'm a little wonky too though, so that's okay. I'm I'm just going to put the other one on off camera. Okay. I got them on. Are they perfect? No. Nobody's perfect. But I feel like if I work with this formula long enough, I'll probably get the hang of it. I got a lot of adhesive in my eyelashes, which I'm a bit concerned about, but they're on. They feel pretty secure in the spots that I actually got the adhesive. And I love the lashes. The lashes are gorgeous. I think they're the perfect shape and fit for my eyes, which is pretty like rare that I find that and not have to trim them. So I'm pretty excited about that. I will um, have to work with it a little bit more till I feel very, very confident. I'm pretty sweaty because I panicked a little bit during the entire process, but I like them. I, li I like that it's a, a two-in-one product. Um, yeah, really happy with everything I got in my boxy this month. What did you get in yours? Did we get any of the same things? Please let me know. Are there any other weird eyelash adhesives that you've tried. I did buy the one that you brush on underneath your eyelashes. I saw it on TikTok and this girl put a whole ass uh, strip lash under there. I was like, Ooh, I want to do that. But then I'm like, how do you, how do you safely get that off and not rip out all your lashes? Because when you put it on top, you glue it to your eye, not to your lashes. So um, I don't know about that one, but let me know. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. Please hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. And I realized that I've just been walking around looking like Jason Muse all day. Like Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Just going to doctor's appointments like that. No one said anything. No one probably got it either. I didn't get it till now. But I hope everyone's having a, a wonderful October and you have a wonderful Halloween. And I will see y'all later. Snoochie boochies. Hello and welcome to our ASMR. Dumb purring cat. You can go he stops purring. <laughs> you only see the top of his head. He's just like... <laughs> Oh. Look at his stupid little face. All right, let's do let's do makeup stuff. <laughs> <Beauty> <laughs> He's so over this. <laughs>